Hey everybody, this is just a follow on from the last video just to show you the clipboard um, code is now mostly complete. We now have both by dire uh, both directions on the copy working. We have host to guest and guest to host now. Um, so we can demonstrate that here quickly. Again, I've just got looking glass. I've got some lorem ipsum test text. Um, I've got Vim down here just as a uh, editor and GIMP as well for image editing. So again, we'll show I showed this in the last one. We've got host into a uh, guest into the host, so that works there. Uh, we can do now the other direction though. We can grab this um, Lorem Ipsum text, copy that, come over here, and paste that in. So text bidirectional is now working. Image, just like in the last video, this works from the guest into the host, but we also can go back the other way. So we grab a brush, oops, we'll draw on that, I'll actually pick another color too, just get green, all right, copy it, paste. So we have full bi-directional clipboard support. Now copying from the host into the guest, there's still some limits, there's a buffer size limit um, because uh, X11, um, by the way, this all of this support at the moment is only for X11 or Xorg. Uh, Wayland is not yet supported for clipboard. But um, back to the other, the clipboard size is limited because X11 has a method of chunking the clipboard data when it gets too big, and I haven't yet implemented the code to handle that. Uh, but it's not absolutely critical at this point because the main clipboard functionality is working and you can copy quite a, a substantial amount of data between client and host without um, uh, having to worry about the size. Coming back the other way from guest to host, it's essentially unlimited. Um, so we could even like screenshot that window and paste that in here. And uh, we didn't screenshot the window, I did that wrong. And it's still not working. Uh, either way, or is it, hold on, canvas. Yes, it did work. Um, Either way, we can actually move a fair amount of data from the guest into the host, but the other way it's limited at this moment, a, co a copy of that size would fail. Um, but yeah, that, that's where we're basically at with this. Um, the extra support for those large buffers likely won't be included for a little bit. I've run out of time to work on this. Um, like always, if you like what I'm doing and like this work, please um, either support me through Patreon or there's PayPal links down below. Uh, all of this work does take time. This feature alone took probably about 20 hours to implement both the learning of how the X clipboard works as well as learning how the VD agent in Spice Tools work and then implementing it on both sides and crushing any bugs that were causing issues in it. Um, so the amount of time invested in those features as far as uh, work goes is astronomical. Um, the cost in development to build this kind of program is insane um, if it was to be paid for. So like I said, I'm doing this in my free time as a hobby. I enjoy this work. I also use Looking Glass myself, so it does benefit me directly. Um, but the motivation to work on it through your support, through donations and stuff is a great help. I thank you once again for listening and um, following me along in this project.